Can a guy and a girl be just friends? And what are to see students' fashion styles? Plus DIY breakfast ideas for on the go. We have it all coming up here on Live Flash. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I'm Delmi Moran, your host for today. So we decided to do something different for you guys and take our show outdoors. So we can go around and ask these students about fashion, relationships, and give you guys a couple of breakfast tips. So let's start off with our first question. Can a guy and a girl be just friends? I feel like it is possible. I just feel like, you know, mm -hmm. there, there's always going to be those attractions. I have a lot of guy friends and everything like that. And I'm not going to lie, I've been attracted to them before and they have been attracted to me. But I feel like after you get past that stage mm -hmm. and everything, I feel like it can work out. So. If you like the person, then you want to you want them to be in your life or you know mm -hmm. they have other things that can attribute to your lifestyle or your life mm -hmm. then you just keep the borderline so you never you don't really cross them. I do believe it's possible to an extent. Uh, there is friends that you can be with a guy and a girl but there's times where you can't control the feelings that progress. Mm -hmm. I don't know between the two but mm -hmm. I think it's possible. So we would love to hear your thoughts on what you guys think about a guy and a girl being just friends. So go ahead and comment below. So next we're going to talk about fashion trends here on campus. We have Tamara Sayed with fashion. Hey, today I stopped Yoli in front of Manzanita Hall. Yoli, what's your major? I'm a public health promotions major. Okay, where did you get your outfit? I love it. I got my jacket from Forever 21, my dress from Envy Trendy, and my shoes from Chic. Great. Um, where do you get your style inspiration from? I get my style inspiration from myself, which is kind of cheesy, but I do, and I dress how I feel comfortable with the seasons and how I do. So I stopped Edwin in front of the Ovia library because I really dug his jacket. What's your major, Edwin? Uh, marketing. Marketing. Okay, where did you get that jacket? Uh, my sister. That's okay. good. Very nice. Uh, where's your favorite place to shop at? Um, well, I'm from San Diego, so this is spot called Captain Hill. Okay, I definitely have to check that out. What inspires your style? Um, I guess just like music and um, I'm a punk band, so just punk music just in general. So moving on to sports, the softball girls played on Wednesday. We have Vincent Nguyen with more on sports. So we're at a softball game right now. The girls are playing against Utah State University. They're currently up 3-1 and they won their first game uh, this morning. Baseball is also going on right now. They're doing awesome. Uh, I think they're 9-1 and one for the season. They just won 10-1 and one yesterday. Tennis is undefeated this season, so you guys should check them out at the tennis courts. Also, volleyball is going to be away this uh, week against UCLA and Santa Barbara. So if you guys have the time, go out to UCLA and support the Matadors. So here with me today is Lifestyle Editor Cicely Chisholm. What do you have here for us today? Today we're going to show you a very quick and simple breakfast to make on the go. Super customizable and it's ready and made in like two minutes. Alright, so let's get it started. Alright, so all you're going to need is an apple. No red, green, whatever you want. You'll spread a thin layer of peanut butter on. It might be a little messy on your first try, definitely. What you'll do after is you'll have a topping of your choice. So I chose almonds because I really enjoy almonds. And all you do is sprinkle them on top and close it with the other apple. That looks really good. You guys should definitely try this at home. What is your favorite breakfast? I really enjoy something simple, just a bowl of Cheerios, to be honest. We actually had some CSN students comment as well on our Sundal Facebook page. Helen said she enjoyed a banana, whole wheat bread, jam, cheese, and coffee, while Pedro said he likes a bowl of Lucky Charm and a banana. We even had a CSN department comment, but early education department said they enjoy raw honey, oatmeal, and banana. Wow, all that sounds really, really good. I just got hungry. <laughs> definitely. You guys are definitely really healthy about it, too. Well, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed our show today. Keep tuning in and comment below for more DIY tips and questions that you guys might have and want to see here on the show. I'm Delmi Moran, and I hope you guys have a great week. Bye.